Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, blue square C, D, E, A along with these uh, two segments uh, B, C and this uh, whole uh, segment uh, B, D. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, A, D is the diagonal of this uh, blue square and this uh, diagonal uh, D, A length uh, is equal to this uh, segment uh, BC length and moreover these points uh, D, A and B are uh, collinear and the side length uh, of this uh, blue square is uh, 4 units and furthermore uh, this angle uh, A, B, C is being represented by X degrees and now our task is uh, to calculate this angle uh, X and we are going to calculate uh, this segment uh, AB length uh, as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, blue square uh, CDEA. And we know all its side lengths uh, are uh, equal uh, in length. So therefore uh, this side is going to be 4 units and this side is going to be 4 units as well. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle uh, DEA. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here is our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case uh, the high part in use of this triangle is this uh, diagonal uh, DA. Whereas our two other legs are 4 and 4. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean theorem. So we are going to put uh, 4 square plus 4 square is going to be equal to a d whole square. Let's simplify. We got 16 plus uh, 16 is going to be equal to a d square. So therefore a d square is going to be equal to 32. And now we are going to undo this uh, square by taking square root on both uh, sides. So therefore we can see that our uh, AD length uh, turns out to be 4 times uh, square root of 2 units. So therefore we can see that our this uh, AD length uh, is uh, 4 times uh, square root of 2. And we know that this uh, AD length uh, equal to this uh, BC segment uh, length. So therefore uh, this uh, BC segment length uh, is going to be 4 times the uh, square root of 2 units uh, as well. And now in this uh, next step I am going to connect uh, these two vertices uh, C and E. As you can see in this uh, next step. And we can see that this uh, CE is the diagonal of the very same uh, blue square. So therefore this diagonal length uh, CE is going to be 4 times square root of 2 units uh, as well. And furthermore uh, these two diagonals intersect each other at this point uh, P. And now let's make an observation. We can see these uh, two diagonals uh, bisect uh, each other. That means uh, this segment uh, CP equal to this segment uh, PE. Likewise, this segment uh, AP is going to be equal to this segment uh, DP. So therefore, all of these uh, segment uh, lengths uh, are going to be 2 times square root of 2 units as well. And furthermore, uh, these two diagonals intersect each other at this uh, 90 degree angle. So therefore I put down this uh, PC length is uh, 2 times square root of 2 and likewise this uh, PA length is uh, 2 times square root of 2 as well. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BPC. Before we proceed any further let me go over the basic uh, concepts and let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BPC. And this is called uh, our special uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle. Since this angle is 30 degrees, this angle is 60 degrees and this angle is uh, 90 degrees. And now we know that this uh, 30 degrees is our smallest angle and this uh, 90 degrees is our uh, largest angle. 
so therefore the side opposite to this uh, smallest angle is going to be our uh, smallest leg and the leg uh, opposite to our uh, largest angle is going to be our uh, longest uh, leg and it is called the hypotenuse and in such kind of uh, 30 60 90 special uh, triangle the longest leg is always uh, twice the smallest leg in other words uh, if the smallest leg uh, is uh, one then our longest leg is going to be two and this uh, third leg is going to be simply square root of three so therefore in general if i put the smallest leg as a lowercase a then the longest leg is going to be two times uh, a and this uh, third leg uh, has got to be a times uh, square root of uh, three and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BPC. Our uh, this uh, smallest leg uh, is uh, 2 times uh, square root of 2. And this uh, longest leg uh, is uh, twice of that one, which is 4 times uh, square root of 2. So therefore we conclude uh, that this is going to be our smallest angle uh, 30 degrees. This is our largest angle uh, which is 90 degrees. And this angle is obviously 60 degrees as well and this uh, third leg uh, pb is going to be this uh, two times uh, square root of two and then uh, times uh, square root of uh, three and now we can see square root of two and square root of three gives us square root of six so therefore uh, this uh, pb length turns out to be two times uh, square root of six units so thus we figured out our this uh, PB segment length uh, as 2 times uh, square root of 6. And finally we figured out our uh, angle X value which turns out to be 30 degrees. So therefore we conclude that our angle X value turns out to be 30 degrees. And now our task is to calculate uh, the length of this segment uh, AB. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, tiny AB segment length uh, is going to be equal to this whole uh, segment uh, PB length minus uh, this uh, segment uh, PA length. As you can see in this given equation, AB equals to PB minus uh, PA. And now we can see our PB segment length we figured out as uh, 2 times square root of 6. So I'm going to replace that one with 2 times uh, square root of 6. And our this uh, PA segment length uh, is 2 times square root of 2. So I'm going to substitute this 2 times the square root of 2 value over here. So therefore we can write uh, our AB segment length is going to be equal to 2 times the square root of 6 minus uh, 2 times the uh, square root of 2 units. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations our this uh, angle x value turns out to be 30 degrees and furthermore uh, our this uh, segment uh, a b length uh, turns out to be 2 times square root of 6 uh, minus 2 times uh, square root of 2 units and that is going to be approximately equal to 2.071 units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye